Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Plus Sashe. And today we're going to be cooking, um, you know, Sunday dinner or whatever meal you prefer. Um, it's actually like, it's about to be 10 o'clock. I woke up at like 9. Y'all, it's been a long, long night. But we're going to be cooking neck bones. So, um, this is what we're going to need right here. I'm going to show y'all right now. Here's some of my stuff, but you're gonna need some cornbread. I didn't feel like doing the most with the rice, so I just got some um, boiled rice in a bag. Y'all, my mama could not cook rice for nothing, and this is what she be buying. I do got some white vinegar to clean my neck bones. Um, I had to get some more seasoning, but I do got some more seasoning, and then I just got some small red beans. Here's my uh, neck bones. It was only $11.21. So, I'm going to crack some of these open. I'm going to end up resealing the bag because it ain't in. So, I do got my bowl right here. Yeah, all the freaking blood is here. I'm trying to think, should I only cook like this much? Because uh, y'all know I'm about to put it in the crock pot, right? So I have this much left. I'm trying to think if I cook all of them and then, no, I don't think I want to do that part. Okay, let me just get a few more. And I'll save the other ones for like a rainy day or something. I'm going to put that to the side. Uh, I'm about to use cold water. Y'all can see all them nasty things is about to come up. Everything. They got some good meat on them, though. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all, this will be my first time cooking the bones. Yeah, first time. Yeah, I'm gonna just rinse them out a few times and then I'm gonna uh, let them soak in the vinegar for about 20 minutes. Okay, let me just pour this white vinegar in there. Get a little toss in there. Gonna let these sit for about 20 minutes and then we're going to uh, sit for 20 minutes and just put these to the side. Turn my hot water on. Wash my hands. Wash my face just in case some got in there. Okay, I'm saying shit. Okay, now I'm gonna take me a clear bowl. And I'm gonna open up my red beans and I'm gonna let my red beans soak. Uh, I'm not for sure how long red beans uh, need to cook, but I'm pretty sure it's like two hours, something like that. I 
I just put the whole small bag in there. So you're pretty much gonna do the same thing that you did with the neck bones to the red beans. You're just gonna let these soak and whatever is gonna come out these red beans is gonna come out. Y'all, this will be a nice ASMR because they look so pretty in the water. All right, y'all, here's how my neck bones is looking. It's been about, oh, it's been about 30 minutes. I lost track of time. Okay, let's get these one more rinse out. You see how much the water is much cleaner? Turn the meat, ladies. And then. So now that they're all clean, we're going to season them to the tea. So we got some black pepper going in. Seasoning is good, y'all. We got some garlic powder on this. Y'all hear my lunch lady gloves? We got some onion powder. Ooh, bless you. Like I said, if you ain't sneezing, it ain't seasoned. Slap your mama. Just slap your mama. And then we just got a little bit of total seasoning. Just a little bit. Now that it is seasoned, get on in here and I'll see you guys together. Yeah, that's not good already. Never everything is Sorry, I got my Mickey Mouse crock pot. Um, I did put it on high. Now I'm just pour the neck bones in here. Um, I do not have that much um, chicken broth. Can y'all see? Y'all can even see in there. But I'm just put some chicken broth at the bottom. Just try to coat the bottom. Okay, I'm just gonna use all that. And I'm about to cut some onions up and put some onions in here. Um, I'm not for sure if y'all put bell peppers in y'all, but I don't. So onions about to go in. All right, so I'm about to put my onions in here. I guess you can call this a, a medium onion. And let's cook. Yeah, this is how my neck bones is looking. I did put them on low. I took them off high and put them on low because I kind of fell asleep. I was just like, baby, don't need to be burning. But, um, I don't know. I wish I had a bouillon cube to put in here. But, you know, that's going to be the juice for the good old rice. Let's sop it up. All right, y'all. Beans are still soaking. I'm probably going to give them, like, another 20 minutes. And then I'm about to start uh, boiling them. I'm going to season them up, put the onion in there. Uh, toss a little butter in there, and then the last thing we'll be cooking is the rice because it don't take that long. 
and the cornbread. Okay, so I just put a couple of cloves of garlic, onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, and I put some butter in my beans. Um, I put a whole garlic in here. So we're just gonna stir this up and we're just gonna let it cook until they soften. And that's what they look like. Put the lid on there so you know it's real. Okay, y'all, so I'm about to start my cornbread. I'm gonna be using two cornbreads because my pan is deep, as you can see. This is my meatloaf pan. And I'm gonna slice these up thinly. I wanna try to make no uh, little muffins. I don't even got a right, a right tin for the little muffins. You already know I crack my eggs one hand. No shell. That's not a shell, that's part of the egg. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna measure no freaking milk. We gonna do what you do. I know what I'm doing. You should too. Y'all know what cornbread looks like, right? Now this can last a couple of days. We don't need the cornbread, then you know it can go in the first because it's another bread or you know. Shoot. We'll make some happy meals out of something. Oh, let me show y'all how the neck bones is coming out. I forgot to show y'all. That smells so good. Look at that. Tender. Oh shit. Tender, baby. Nice and tender. I just put them on high so they can cook because it's almost. Oh, it's 4 30. But I'm about to mix these. I don't have no jalapenos today because I could have made some jalapeno cornbread. But I didn't. So, y'all. Just mix this on in here. And then we're gonna put it in the oven at 350. Y'all know I couldn't forget about my beans, right? I just put a little onion in there from the neck bones. I ain't like cutting another onion. So here's my beans. They should be done shortly. And I got my minute the rice. And I'm gonna boil my water for about five, two minutes and put this in there because y'all know. The rice ain't gonna take that long to cook. And if we need more rice, I got about four more bags of the mini rice. So we Gucci, okay, y'all. So, mm -mm -mm. so here go my little tender neck bones. Tender. I got my cornbread. I got my corn. I mean, I got my rice with my red beans. Y'all, look at that juice. Don't that look good? Yeah, I'm like, let me just put this in a bowl. I'm like, damn near. Nah, I gotta have the juice. I gotta have the juice. No cap. I really don't care what hot sauce I use, but baby, you know hot sauce got to go on them neck bones. When I tell you, look at that. They roll off the bone. Mm, mm, mm. Go get y'all some. But thank y'all for letting me cook for y'all. This is your girl Shay. Thank you for tuning into the kitchen. And As a kid and I've been damaged since I wanna love and be happy but I be panicking I try to display my love like it's a mannequin But to my face I got played so it ain't happening Like